Now let's start with a very simple server-side JavaScript, one that gathers data from the database and retrieves this to the client side as an HTML page. So what we're going to do is I will create one new package inside my original project. So, and I will call this package xsjs. And inside this new sub package, I will create a new file. And this file will be my xsjs file. I'll call this get business partner list html.xsjs. You can place the name as you please, but the most important thing is the extension .xsjs. So I won't type all the code myself, but I will explain what is going on in here. So everything starts with a var called output, and this var will be responsible for retrieving all the content that is going to be delivered to the client. So in this case, we start uh, you, with a salute. In this case, we start with a salutation that we're going to get the username of that session. So when I, what is the user that is connected to the service? We're going to retrieve the name in here. I have this other var called BP type that we're going to use it later. But then line number three is one of the important ones is where we're going to start a SQL console. So basically what we are doing in here is creating a connection directly to the database and I can perform SQL statements on top of it. So I'm preparing the SQL statement on line number five. I'm selecting some columns from the OCRD table. And on my where clause, I'm placing this question mark. This question mark will be replaced by a parameter. And this is the parameter you saw on line number two. So if you see here on line number seven, what we have is that we are executing this query on top of the connection that we initialized previously. And the query is right here. And the other arguments, the other parameters are basically the parameters that are required by that statement. In this case, I only have one parameter, that is the card type here with here signalized by this question mark. And that's why we are placing the BP type in here. So in this case, our services should return all the business, business partners of card type C. This will generate a result. And this is what we are doing here on line number 10. We are iterating on top of that result array, retrieving all the lines of these results and concatenating this as in our output variable. So what we are doing here is creating an HTML code inside the output variable. At the end, we close the connection, we set the content type to the, to the client side, and of course, we set the body of our response. So let's just save this and see how it goes. You can execute it right here from the web-based development workbench. Press right here. And you can see the contents of our service. So the salutation, as we saw in the beginning, card code, card name, card type, and balance of each of the business partners of type C. This is pure HTML. There's no logic being hosted on the client side. That's just a way for us to demonstrate what you can do with XSJS.